This is Lifestyle 360 with Jumia, and I am yours truly, Chef Isi. Today, we are going to go to Italy, where I'm going to give you a dish called a penne arrabbiata. Yes, penne arrabbiata. Oh. Now let's get on with it. My pan is heated. I'm gonna add my oil, add my garlic, my ginger, and add my onions. I want it to get to sweat a bit, okay? I want it to release the flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in our plum tomatoes. Okay, so as we break it in, it takes in also our aromatics before we add in the spices and herbs. Okay, I'm gonna throw in our Scotch bonnet or rodo. Um, to your liking, okay? This is a spicy dish. Okay, babe, feel free and give this an addition to your dish. The thyme. Salt. Black pepper. Coerced form. Or red wine vinegar. Give that a stir. Now we're gonna let the vinegar blend in. Now, in some cases, I mean, even some Italian dishes, you're allowed to add sugar to it. Uh, to balance the acidity of the tomato, you know, reduce it a bit, it's fine. Feel free, as you like. But I'm okay with this. I don't wanna give it that sweet taste. I want it still hot, a bit tangy, okay? I have the aroma coming in. The, the tanginess of the vinegar, the red wine, the sweetness, adding flavor to that. We have the thyme. Now, our pasta. You want to measure the amount you add, okay? Um, you don't want the dish, you still want it just to look juicy, to have that juicy feel too. So, you don't want to throw in too much. Alright, so without further ado, the Parmesan cheese. Yes, indeed. Okay, so in this stage, you want it to simmer for about one, two minutes so you can reduce your heat. So, our crispy chicken, we're gonna lay the chicken breast already butterflied. We're gonna season it with a bit of ginger. You want to do this on both sides, okay? Salt, sweet spice, a bit of thyme, our breadcrumbs. Spread it around, let it cover. And once I do that, I'm gonna beat in the breadcrumbs. Your ginger, black pepper. You don't wanna add too much. Remember, you've already added in the other side. Your soya spice. Go ahead, by all means. I'm gonna leave out the thyme on this one and I'm just gonna coat with my breadcrumbs. Okay, just like we did, cover it. Let's get this party started. My oil in the pan, okay. We have our chicken beaten on both sides. With my tongue, I'm gonna flip it once I know that surface is well cooked, okay? There's such a thing as overcooking. 
So you want to keep your heat on medium heat and try and make sure you don't overcook. You can see the color has turned white. It's more firm as it was when it was raw. Okay, so that stage you can flip it. The target because it's flat, you're looking at the color and the texture. So to tell you when the chicken is ready. Alright guys, what do you think? Done, right? Exactly. Now, for sake of presentation, I'm just going to cut it to give it some particular shapes that we'll use in placing our arabiata. Mm. So, it's time to plate. I'm going to give it some more Parmesan cheese. Okay, for garnish. It's nothing like too much cheese. Okay. And finally, our parsley. Okay, you can have a branch there. Stuff right there. Probably get another one. Probably right there. And there you have it, folks. Penne arrabbiata with crispy, tender, juicy chicken. Let me know what you think.